The idea behind master keying is that we need multiple keys to open a single lock, and one key that can work in several locks. So if your landlord has a building, they'll be able to open every lock in the building with one key, but your key for your lock will never open your neighbor's key for their lock. Here's how master keying works. First, I'll just drop some pins into this lock so that we can explain the basics of how a normal lock works. As you know, when the key enters the lock, it will raise the key pins up so that the top of the key pin and the bottom of the driver pin sit together at the shear line. But what happens if we add another piece of metal between the key pin and the driver pin? Now our current key works, but so does this key, breaking between the top of the master wafer and the driver pin. Now let's extrapolate that out and add master wafers between every pin in the lock. Now any number of keys will work in the lock. Here's one just for an example. You can see that three of the master wafers are breaking at their top and two of the master wafers are breaking at the bottom. But the clearest way to think about this is to simply do the math. Even in a five pin lock, with just one master wafer per chamber, that's two possible shear lines per chamber, so two to the fifth. That's 32 possible keys, 32 possible shear lines, and 32 possible ways to pick this lock. And that's the most important takeaway, that master keying inherently weakens the security of your system.